Right, so it's been quite a while now since I've reacted to anything to do with sports. I've been focusing on music now for the past, like, six, seven, eight months maybe. Like, it's been quite a while now. Uh, before that, I was doing wrestling, obviously, which is a sport, I guess. But I've never actually, well, I haven't in a long time, reacted to the likes of um, football, my type of football, which is soccer for the Americans, uh, NFL, which I'm doing today. I think this is the first time I'm doing anything to do with NFL. I did rugby like a year ago, but I've done like minimal videos on sports, which just doesn't sit right with me. So today I'm going to be reacting to the biggest hits in football history. This is NFL. This is going to be good because obviously NFL is a very rough sport. This is kind of similar to rugby. Um, obviously you wouldn't get many big hits in the likes of soccer or any sports that I would watch, which is really only soccer or football for me. I don't really watch many sports these days, so I do want to change that. I do want to get into more sports. I tried playing Madden actually for the first time uh, because Xbox has this EA Play thing where you get all of these EA games um, essentially for free in a sense. Well, not really because it's a subscription service, but whatever, whatever. So I decided to download Madden and give it a go, but I, I just didn't have any idea what was going on. You know, I was getting all these options, press Y for a ground break, press X for a, like, I don't even know. All right, but I'm gonna start off simple in my journey into NFL, and we're gonna react to some brutal, brutal hits. There's no, like, rules that I need to know. All I'm gonna see today is some absolute chaos, and that's what I'm always here for, as I sip my apple juice. I've got mad respect for NFL players as well, rugby players, you know, it's really, these sports are really brutal, so, and I know for a fact I wouldn't want to get involved, I tried, I had to play rugby in school for a while, a couple of years, and that was, that was bad, I didn't really want to get involved, when I did get involved, I got bruised and battered, and I, because I'm not one of the, I was never one of the bigger kids, I was always one getting knocked about, so, oh god, Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's see some brutality. Oh, oh no! Oh no, his back said... Oh, no, 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 that's really bad. His back just went... Arr. What happened there? Oh, right in the face. It's all going by so fast. Gotta keep up. Can't really talk about each clip for too long. It's mad as well because they run so fast. And when you get stopped like that... Oh, mate, that would take the wind right out of you. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my god. The body is not meant to bend that way. What happened there? He survived. He survived. Oh my god. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> you just, oh. Uh, it's just the speed that really, that would really, you know, make me impact. It's just, it's too fast. Your body just snaps. Oh god, look how far back he's went there. Ah, you see the speed of his head going bonk off the ground. Like, look at this. I mean, it's in slow motion, like, but... God damn, you just wouldn't see it coming. You have no time to react. That guy's helmet came flying off. He's back up, though. He's like, oh, come on! I needed that adrenaline boost. Like, some of these dudes would like the... And he's just on a flip. The amount of power you would need to flip a man. Oh, is he out? Oh, he's fine. But yeah, respect to the players, man. A lot of them, I guess, wouldn't really mind the violence. But it must be so... You must be nervous, you know, for this to happen. And he's just f***ing suplexed him. Oh, my God. Tommy WWE meets NFL. Slow-mo replay again in this one. Got absolutely bulldozed. No coming back from there. Ugh. Oh, he got flattened out that time. Oh. Obviously they've got, you know... Okay, I've got to pause it actually because I'm going to start missing stuff. And that guy has to be out of it, surely. Obviously they've got, like, body armor, you know? Well, not body armor, but they've got a bit, a bit of protection, I guess, with the, um, the gear. I don't know how, how well that will protect you from falls or anything, but... Yeah, helmets as well, obviously, for a bit of protection. But even still... You know, nothing's gonna protect your brain from hitting the side of your head. And 
make it go to sleep. But I'm sitting here saying this is like really scary and dangerous looking, but I don't actually know any statistics on injuries or anything, so if you guys know about injuries, like how often do NFL players get injured, like is it a common thing or or I, have I got it wrong? Because by the looks of things it looks obviously very dangerous, but maybe most of the time when people get wiped out they're alright. I mean I've seen a few clips obviously where they do get back up so that's good. But this dude right here looks like he's not going to get back up, let's see. Yeah, I don't know about that one like. Oh, he got caught right in the cheek, right in the jaw. Oh, there's a spear. My god, straight into the solar plexus. Oof, he just went face first into that. Ay ay ay, look at this. Oh, he didn't even look, oh no no no. Yeah, that's bad, that's really bad. Like there's no, yo the speed of that man. That's faster than a Lambo, Fucking hell. Is he, is he good? No. Yeah, no, people have to get injured often with when stuff like this happens. Oh, helmet off. It must take some force to wipe off someone's helmet. Like, oh, we just grabbed him, actually. He pretty much just yanked it off, all right. Oh, God. I can just imagine, like, because I've been in situations before where, like, when you get hit or something, I used to do kickboxing. When you get hit in the stomach and you just go, oof, or oh. I can imagine that would be like, that would happen to them, but like at least times, times five with the speed of that, you know. When someone comes flying at you, you'd obviously go, Whoa! and you'd be down for the coin, you know what I mean. It is quite enjoyable to watch. Like, I'm sure this is a reason for a lot of people to watch NFL, you know, the violence. People love violence. Oh. Butting of heads right there. See you in the next one. Oh, he's back up, all good. Oh god. What even happened there? Oh, it was just a wee shoulder barge. Damn. Oh, he's out. I think. Ah. He just kicked him, did you see that? He kicked him out. He actually got off well though for that. Look at that, that's a that's a head to the neck. A head to the neck. Look at this. Oh, well, shoulder. And he still got up. Okay, this guy's pretty much getting bombarded here by a lot of people. Look at that. Dude, this is actually rem reminding me of rugby as well in the sense of when you get the ball, you've got all these people coming at you. You've got to like really quickly think of your next move. And then, if you don't make your next move within a few seconds, you'll get a few Donnies, literally, uh, what's the thing we used to do back in the day? Yeah, piling on you, you know, when you would go on, uh, you would go up to your mates and be like, pile on, and everyone would jump on each other. <laughs> or not just me. That was a thing. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh, he got out of it there as well, but there was someone waiting for him. That was a good spear. Left him absolutely shell shocked. Oh wow. That's a wipeout and a half right there. Oh, you need him in the head as well after there. I think that was an accident though. Oh, that guy turned around just to meet this. Look, he just turned around there and bang! Didn't have a split second to even think about his next move. That was really quick. Booyah! Oh! Bloody hell! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. oh my god. He was even hyped up after that as well. He was like, Yeah, I did that! Come on, bro! Oh! Someone get involved! Someone get involved! Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Ah, he did a wee spin there as well. Oh no. I actually, I didn't clock how fast that was first time. Helmet off. Oh. Surely this would put off a lot of players. Like if this happened to you, 
be honest, right, if you're an NFL player, do you just, do you just carry on once you're good to go again? Because, I don't know, this could, look, oh my god, oh my god, he's, he's back up on his feet! What a legend. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, no, this would probably scar me if I got wiped out like that, I don't know. It would probably put me off. Boom! Ugh. He threw the ball as well, but that guy was already—he already had his one. He had that one goal in mind. Absolutely tank this dude out, no matter what happens. Bit of a scramble there. Oh, see that head bounce. Imagine if I didn't have helmets on. There'd be so many like... Oh! Oh! Yo, we're seeing some good ones now. Oh my god! Yo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> As I was saying, no, if they didn't have helmets, like, everyone would be having seizures. Like, when your head bounces off the floor, Yo, I've got a little bit of a story real quick. I've seen this happen firsthand in handball. Back in school, we were playing PE. We were what, man? We were in PE, or physical education class, as some may, may call it. And we were playing handball. Obviously, no helmets for handball, you know, who needs that? Uh, we were indoors, so there was a wooden floor. This guy, I'm not gonna say his name or anything, but he... I think jumped up to get the ball, someone else collided with him. This guy fell back and just smashed his head off the wooden floor. Everyone sort of just stood, stood still for a second, like, oh, that was kind of funny, but is he all right? And then he was just lying there, and then the, the seizure started. He started having a seizure, and that's when everyone went, just went into panic mode. I've never seen someone have a seizure, like, live before in front of me, so I was like, oh my god, I feel sick. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, He's fine though, it got sorted. It's definitely a story to tell the grandkids like. And one of the biggest stories to come out of that school. But it just goes to show like, oh, things can go seriously wrong. Seriously, seriously wrong. So be careful, all of you sporting fanatics out there. See, look at this guy, he, yeah, he's, he's out of it. He's, he's gone. Oh, took out his own teammate. Three men are down. We need medical assistance immediately. Look at that. Oh, his face just went bonk into the ground as well. They're still trying to play. It's like, yo, it doesn't matter what happens to anyone. Just get the dang ball. Oh. Wait, he took out, I think he took out two people there at the same time. Ha, <laughs> that's impressive. Oh god, again with the speed. That guy was nearly falling over as well, did you see him? He wasn't really on his feet well, and then boom, someone finished, finished him off. Oh, he didn't know where to go, and then bang, turned his head. No time to do anything. You've got to have such quick reflexes as, as an NFL player. Like seriously, you've got to really know what you're doing. Obviously, no! Oh shit! No way did that just happen, though. No. Yo, hang on a second. Yo, we gotta get. Oh, the sun's very sunny. We've gotta get a replay on that. I nearly fell back in my chair because of that one. Jesus Christ! That was one of the rare cases where it actually does turn to WWE. You know? Look at that! Picks him up and just slams him down. Are you mad? Fair play, fair play. As I've said, though, you really do like. Obviously, they know what they're doing. They're professionals, but they, they're a different type. Oh, these guys are a different breed of human. You know, their reflexes are you know much more advanced than any of us. Oh god. Look, see the way his arms are like that. That that's that's a bad sign. You know, that's a really bad sign. Like he is, he's out for the point. Oh, the speed of that is just ridiculous. Oh. It's 
the ones where it happens so fast that it's literally just a split second and they're dying. Like, that is terrifying. From behind. Oh! Oh! That guy was lucky though he didn't go too far back because he nearly went on his neck. Just a bite managed to stay mostly on his back. Imagine someone goes flying into the people on the side. Squall wipe. <laughs> hey! Oh, headbutt? Even with a helmet, that would rattle you. Oh, a few people got taken out there. Went for the legs, misses. He's running. He's going for it. Oh, the teammate's dying, and he runs straight into another player. Everyone's down. Oh, he's on the run. He's not going fast enough, mate. Oh, there was someone there. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Look how many players are surrounding him. Like, what do you do? You just have to take the L, unfortunately. You don't have many options in that situation. Oh, there's another way. Scoop and ploop. That's what we'll call that. Scoop, ploop. Oh. Yo, why is he shouting at him, mate? That's just disrespectful, is it not? He just bodied him and then he's like, Oh, what you do? Oh. Oof. Headbutt and then a push. The double mail deal. Oh. That's nice. Look at that. Eesh. That's a classic. Just straight into the chest. Full speed ahead. Arn. Wah bong. Oof. Oh, he went for the legs. Nearly a scoop and ploop, but nah. If he grabbed onto them, that would have been. Go out for an Alabama slalom, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, nutty conditions as well. Big man gets taken out. Oh. Doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter the, the anything, you know, if the speed is enough, you're gonna wipe out anyone. His helmet's off, he's done. Ah, oh, again, the speed is just crazy, mate. Oh, he was barely on his feet as well, he was just after catching the ball there. Oh, that's just a mad push. Sorry, the camera sub recording there. Had to wind it back one time. To the beat one time. He's proud of himself for that one. He's like, yeah, I just killed that man. I don't really care. I did it for the team. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy, man. He got fucked. Ooh, I'm not gonna swear now, no. My name's T-Bag. And I'm... Okay, I stopped being a fucking weirdo. Ooh, my God. I said stop man, what are you doing? Oh! That wasn't too bad actually. Nah, that's fine, that's fine. That's minute. Compared to what we've seen so far. Oh, he got a clothesline. Oosh! You saw that coming from a good while away. He's going for it. Can he make the touchdown? He's passed it! He's got it! Oh! Oh my god, his helmet went so far there. Oh! <laughs> right, I'm watching him, I'm watching him. He's going too fast. Oh, no, 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 no! I thought he'd be the one to get wiped out. But nah. The blue the blue guy was calling me. He was like, yep, he's running at me. I'm just going to ping him here and he'll be gone. No, the yellow man comes in. Wah bang. But on that note, that is where it ends for the biggest hits in football. History. So the question is, right, would I myself be interested in NFL? Yes, as a viewer, no, as a player. Alright, I like sports, um, but this just ain't for me. And all it takes, really, if I do get involved, is one big hit, and I probably would be like, oh god, please just let me live here and I'll reevaluate my life choices. I would probably quit after that, but 
I don't know. Respect to the players to get wiped out and just accept it and carry on because I don't know if I would have the the guts, the willpower to carry on after something like that. As I said, I used to do kickboxing and sometimes when I'd get wiped out in kickboxing, I would be like, oh my god, I can't, I can't, you know, my chest is like, you know, heating up or whatever, I'm like <gasps> struggling to breathe, I'm on the floor, some girl's bloody <laughs> overhead axe kicked me and I'm gone, and then I'm just there like, I, I really, I really can't do this, so I can't, there's no way I can continue, but sometimes I do continue, you know? So drop a like on the video for me if you guys have enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.